the most popular players in the business for Mortal Kombat 11, the champ Sonic Fox and the up and coming god of the online world, Ninja Killer, are going to be our first matchup for top eight. After that will be Splash versus Forever King, Dragon versus Scar, and then Burrito Voorhees versus Deoxys. And obviously whoever loses these matches has to go down into loser's bracket to face off against. Oh, looks like Hey George is lying in wait for that. Noble Combat's waiting, so is Samij. We're waiting for the results of Silver Eye and Coach Steve, of which live before our very eyes, Coach Steve defeats Rai 2-0. Well that done is, for Coach Steve. Expensive. But this matchup is, there's so much storylines for the match that we're about to see. A Ninja Killer recently destroying Sonic Fox in the Pro Competition Grand Finals for DreamHack very, very recently. But Fox, you know, they're a, they're a player that aren't shy of playing multiple characters, and Johnny Cage is Fox's recent character for sure. Yeah, no, Sonic Fox, you know, dipping into a lot of different characters, not afraid at all to test out what is new. You know, whether that's something that's new on the, on the topics of everybody just debating what's good and what's not, or the topics that are going on in his own head. Maybe this will work. Maybe this setup is good. Let's try it out. But I know that Johnny Cage is a character that Sonic Fox has been playing, actually as a counterpick to Liu Kang. I, I believe actually it was losing to Ninja Killer that inspired the change in finding a character that was an answer for Kang. Liu Kang also has obviously been adjusted a little bit in the patch. Forward 4 isn't what it used to be, but Ninja Killer, a player of many talents, needs more than that to win. And here comes Fox now. A little bit of a first blood. There's the immediate catch. And Showstopper Cage. So much unbreakable damage. But a rare combo drop coming out from Fox already. Yeah, but Fox was ready to tech that throw as Ninja Killer trying to get that uh, momentum back on his side. And a throw escape of his own. Flawless block right afterwards. He's going to be starting some strings. And Sonic Fox catching on to the fact that he is stopping this and is looking for some kind of stagger pressure. Empty jump into throw. Ninja Killer looking great right now. Looking to take this back. Both players down to about half health. Now Sonic Fox had a slight, le uh, slight deficit here. Fox definitely had the lead at the very beginning, but it's starting to slip away a little bit. Ninja Killer being nice and grab happy, and that's something that Liu Kang can really thrive with. Thanks to the crushing blows, he's going to whip. Here comes the cancel, and of course that's going to mean the crushing blow to boot. Unbreakable damage. And right at the last minute, Ninja Killer has the chance to break away for the down one to finish. And that was such a sick sequence. Obviously, for those that don't know, you have to cancel your fatal blow. And it is going to result in the glasses leading into a full stun. And that's why Fox went for the punish. And I also love how Fox went to go clean out that round with the very safe new special move is specifically in this variation. Ooh, what a flawless block up to here from Ninja Killer. But he's not letting it stop him at all. But this is that next level of development for anti as the game. Jump threes are incredibly strong. So now players are starting to flawless block the jump in, and now they're going for the up two. That seems to be the most consistent with punish though from Sonic Fox. And the one two one into the uh, force balls, a full launch and the grab. We're not going to ignore the fact that was a drop. It doesn't matter. Fox getting a grab and a very, very dominant round number two. That is a fantastic way to start this set. And one game away from top eight. Now look at that decision. The, the decision to just go right into rematch. Doesn't want to think about it. Possibly knowing what he did wrong in that sequence, in that, in that, in that game. And he, I think he can take it. You know, Fox, if you're able to defeat Fox in tournament, they're probably going to come back stronger next time. Uh, that, that's historically been the way it always has been. It's normally going to be a character change. In this case, Cage is picked as a direct answer for Liu Kang. Here's a punish. And this is so stopper. So here comes the full combo, thanks to the camera as well. One, two, one. That's another launch. But this time, again, two drops in a row, actually. Failing the combo two times now. Oh, but hold on. Wait a minute. Ninja Killer showing some signs of life here. Sonic Fox stopping it again. Those down pokes doing such a great job of trying to stop your opponent from just getting that offensive, uh, you know, those offensive oh, maneuvers wow. going. What a block, and that is definitely not a safe thing. This doesn't look like the same Ninja Killer we're kind of familiar with. He's taking a lot of risks, and he's honestly not much of a risk taker compared to some other Liu Kang players out there, but it's really, it's killing him. And Fox is running wild with it on match point, top eight point, in fact. Now keep in mind, escape failed, so that means the next successful throw from Ninja Killer, if it is successful, will lead into 31% thanks to the crushing blow. The third amplified bicycle kick, that means the next combo into bicycle kick is going to bleed into a lot of damage. Sonic Fox wants him off of him. Never mind, going up for the throw, and the throw escape from Ninja Killer. The reactions of this superstar are just incredible. And again, how does he know which way he's going to throw them? They're both mid-screen. That's always makes it much harder, right? Normally, if you're in the corner or something, you got a little bit more information, but that's a straight-up guess. Fox was trying to kind of face just within close to jump distance, thanks to Johnny Cage's advancing low. He whip. whip! Oh no! Here comes a full combo! Glasses, thank you very much! Into the finish! This is actually going to be all 
unbreakable. Ninja Killer is dead. Sonic Fox is going to take it. And they'll be our first player in the top eight here at East Coast Throwdown. Incredible, incredible. And it was all about the situational awareness. What Sonic Fox knew that he knew that they, they, they were down to less than 31%. So Ninja Killer, of course he was looking for the throw. Of course he was going to dash up and not hit forward four, but instead reaching to go for that crushing blow. And that was pretty much the demise and the, uh, you know, the nail in the coffin of Ninja Killer. Um, now that does mean that Ninja Killer is going to drop down into loser's bracket, has to play one more match for top eight, and his opponent's going to be Samij. So that'll be an interesting one. We'll be seeing that a little bit later on. But congratulations to Sonic Fox. You know, Every single time we watch Fox lose in tournament, I kind of think that, you know, Fox takes it a certain way. Mm. Uh, I feel like they've gotten better at losing as the years go on, you know? I think it, it can be quite difficult being the undisputed for oh, the yeah. longest time, and then, you know, here comes a player that can beat you in the fashion Ninja Killer was able to at DreamHack. Yeah. But what champions do is they lose, you know, be emo about it for a few seconds, but then you reflect. Yeah. You know, that, that's exactly what you do is you go away and you kind of think, right, what went wrong? What's your losses? Think about what it was in, in Fox's case. He, you know, they must have felt like it was a matchup thing. Sure, Let's sure. just pick a new character, and Johnny Cage was that answer. And clearly, Johnny Cage was the right 